let's get started using guides so in HTML you've learned about bootstrap and the 12 column grid you can also use that in Axure and that's good for creating consistent layouts that will be easier easier for a developer to build now the first thing to note is that your page is infinite wide uh, so if I scroll to the right it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger so the first thing we want to do is create a cutoff point for our page so set a width for our page um, so if I click the background the white blank background and look over in my inspector pane we have in the style tab page dimensions it's auto and that means it'll stretch on forever uh, if I click on that and choose web it now prompts us with um, 1024 which is you know that's a nice size but I just want to demonstrate something let's say we're designing for a 1366 pixel wide screen that's a size that um, Adobe often suggests as sort of a mid-range kind of screen size so if I choose 1366 we might think oh yeah that's looking good now I'm going to show you a downside to doing this so if I drag my h1 heading across here sorry I zoomed out a little bit too much um, and I uh, put a paragraph here and a paragraph here at the edge let's go and have a look and see what this looks like in my browser and it's right literally at the edge and it's difficult to read normally we're used to having a margin there just like a book if you had print running right to the edge of the page it would be very difficult to read and the same goes for your browser so what can we do well if I jump back in here and we're gonna delete these actually I'll leave them there we'll do a demo in a second um, what I would recommend to start off with is that we do not design to 1366 pixels if that's the size you want to view it in um, 1200 is my recommendation and you see how that chops the edge off and we bring that back here and you might think well now that fixes the right hand one but what about the left um, if we go and preview this you'll see Axia automatically centers it so we do have that margin to the left to the right makes it much easier to view uh, and in fact if you go to pro uh, project pale style page style manager you can see page align um, by default it's centered in the browser only um, so that fixes our problem um, so now we've got our width 1200 pixels wide how do we add a grid as I mentioned in bootstrap in web design a lot of the time we're using a 12 column grid so if you go to view rulers grid and guides we want to go down to um, create guides and this gives us the option of the different guides and there's a lovely preset of 1200 grid 12 column grid so we choose that now it's up to you you can tweak these values but I'm quite happy to uh, leave it as is and I click OK and now we have our 12 column grid ready to go um, I'm going to show you a few other settings here now if you uh, actually I'll show you a mistake a lot of people make so if I've decided um, I'll go backward I'll do undo and maybe I've made a mistake maybe I've gone view rulers grid and guides create guides and I've accidentally chosen 960 grid 16 columns or something like that and you think oh yeah that's definitely not what I want so instead I'll replace it view rulers grid and guides create guides and then going in to the 1200 grid 12 column Ooh, and it just adds it to the existing guide so first you have to delete the guides you can delete individual guides by selecting one and it turns green and you can hit the delete key on your keyboard you can select one right click and click delete uh, you can click and drag and select all of them and hit delete um, but one of the options that is perhaps easier in this kind of uh, mess of a mistake view rulers grid and guides and delete all guides and that gives us a pristine page again so let's go and recreate our 12 column grid view rulers grid and guides create guides and we're choosing the 1200 grid 12 column and I'm going to you see how okay here's another thing 
by default it's created as global guides so if I click OK there and I create a new page you see how now it looks like my grid is much much bigger in fact it's not what's happened is um, I was zoomed in so the size is the same across the two pages so that's absolutely fine back to page one again and that's what a global guide is it's basically like a master guide it's going to appear on all of your pages and that can be really really handy now just say you want to make sure you're not going to accidentally select whoopsie select one of these and delete it what do we then do we can go view ruler grids and guides and lock guides and that means I cannot accidentally delete these uh, how else can you create guides you can drag them from the ruler you're probably used to doing that in Illustrator so it may be if you want a header section and you want it to be across all pages now if I just drag that down and I then go to page two it's not there because it's just a page guide if you want it to be a global guide oops and it's all locked of course <laughs> even though I've added it afterwards it's locked I can't delete it so if I go to view rulers grid and guides uh, I want to deselect the lock guides so that I can just get rid of that one there um, if you want to create a global guide manually what you do is you hold down if you're on a PC the control key if you're on a Mac the command key and then you drag it down and now if I go to page two there we go we have our guide there um, one other thing I want to show you actually a couple of other things but the first thing I want to show you is if I drag some stuff over here actually this is probably not a good example I should drag over a couple of image widgets and you know let's let's make them according to the grid just to justify the fact I've got a grid here okay so here we go we've got um, a couple of images in the grid now um, they assume you want to be able to see the grid so that you can work with all of those lines so it actually puts the grid on top of everything now if you're finding that distracting and having issues with that you can actually put the grid behind all you do is you go to view rulers grid and guides and guide settings down here and you choose render guides in back and you can actually select the colors you want as well um, now always show locations in a ruler now that might be useful if you're doing just a couple of different um, uh, different guides but if I click that hit look at that that gets really complicated and really messy so I'm not going to do that but you can see here the difference when you click on that render guides in back so you choose what works best for you um, and do that so there's that by default snap to guides is on and that's a really good idea to leave on because if I turn that off and click done and then I try and drag something over and try to get it exactly there now currently it's sort of snapping to my my guides uh, sorry my underlying grid but it's actually a little bit hard to get it to um, line up directly with those grid lines so it is a good idea view ruler grids and guides uh, guide settings snap to guides should be on widget snap is another one on by default that you should not turn off because it is useful and that just helps you align widgets to each other so they're some very useful uh, useful ones um, so okay so there's that and then if you just want to work on it without looking at the grid at any stage you can go view ruler grid and guide and where are we you can uh, turn off your global guides there uh, now if you turn off the global guides you will still be able to see your page guides um, so that might be useful for you you can turn off the page guides separately okay what else are there any other settings here we need to see nope everything is good okay so that shows you how to use uh, the grid so I do recommend turning that grid on making it 12 columns wide so that you can um, create that layout that you've done in your wireframes and know that it is precise um, make sure you set your width of your page to 1200 wide even though we would like to see your websites in a 1366 pixel browser um, that's fine because you'll have the margins on either side good luck